Yo yo, what's good YouTube? This is Anger Video, and today I got a new video for you guys. Basically, we got a new series, and today we're gonna be talking about web penetration testing. All right, let's get to it. So, first of all, to set up virtual box, which is done by Oracle, just go into Google, search Oracle virtual box. All right, just go into downloads and then choose the windows hosts for windows mac of course and linux all right so it's just gonna give you a simple installer so just close that up all right and i'm just gonna show you a quick example of that so i already have that installed so i'm not gonna install it again but again all you really just need to do is just press uh, next and then next 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 and so on all right so afterwards go back into your firefox or your chrome and then search Kali or get Kali. Uh, i already have an installed version but i'm gonna show you just how to install that just in a few moments all right so get Kali. And since that we're installing for VirtualBox, then uh, choose Virtual Machines. And then VirtualBox, you can use the torrent, so on and so forth. Of course, if you're using a 32-bit computer, if you do not know how to do that, all you just need to do is just go into System Information and check if your computer is... Uh, a time 64 bit pc or time 32 bit pc right so download cal linux and all right i'm just gonna leave this browser open to update my cal linux uh, however i'm gonna show you an installation right now so open up your virtual box all right and then go into wherever you downloaded your Kali Linux uh, 7z file. So I do have it over here. It is already extracted. And if you do not have an extraction software, you can just go into 7z. And 7z is basically going to allow you to extract the file really easily. And it's open source. All right. So just download that. M64, install it, next, 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 and then just uh, go back to wherever you downloaded that. And like, for example, over here, and then just extract. All right, so I already have it extracted. It's going to give you a virtual disk image, which is going to give you a ready installation. It's going to look like this afterwards, right? So use Kali. Linux and then I'm gonna name it time 64. Uh choose maybe like a other Linux <clears throat> or you could use a uh, Debian uh, time 64 because uh, like Cal Linux is based upon Debian. Uh I already have uh like a Linux machine, so let's just call it uh Alpha or anything or anything else. <clears throat> Uh, make the RAM at least uh, four gigabytes of RAM. Processors, two cores. And in terms of this, you're gonna use something that is already added. So go just wherever you extracted your virtual box, uh, virtual disk image. Open that, and then choose next. Finish. Just go into settings, we're just going to finish up something, which is basically the video memory. Turn that up until 128 megabytes. Press OK, and then start. And that is basically going to work. So just give it a few more moments. And it's just going to start up right now. All right, so 
basically when after you start up and you go into your admin uh, or into your sign in page the credentials are going to be uh, tally and tally so i'm not going to bother you with the booting but however uh, this is how you install Kotlin linux using virtualbox on a windows machine so i'll see you guys in the next video which i'm going to do the same thing but for vmware peace this was angry to you